Hey there, Ophiuchus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to September of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Eric. It is so wonderful to be here with you. And if you're returning, what's up guys all right guys we're getting into the month of september for you please keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't now we're going to be looking at the energies of the month of september for you from the point of view of true sidereal astrology but if you are watching for the sign of ophiuchus then you are most likely already connected with that energy yeah um if you would like a copy of your true sidereal chart uh please make sure to email me my email can be found in the description box below i will be more more than happy to send you your chart free of charge. I am also for uh, natal chart interpretations and just astrology sessions. Um, you can email me for that and I would be happy to set up a schedule time or schedule a time for you. But then also if you're just looking for some general tarot readings or energy readings, I'm also available for that. Check the information in the description box below and shoot me an email. And like I said, I am more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up there. Yeah. All right, Ophiuchus, let's just get into these energies for you. So um, I, would, I do want to say before I start, uh, in terms of a ruling planet, there is a lot of discussion, you know, in terms of who your ruling planet would be and all that kind of stuff. But for you, I just want to say I'm feeling drawn to place your focus in terms of Mars because your energy tends to be so closely tied with Scorpio. Scorpio has a ruling planet of Mars, also Pluto. But when we talk about personality and personal stuff, you want to talk about the personal planets and that would be Mars. I'm really feeling driven to talk about that and use Mars as your ruling planet here, okay? Moving forward. Where I want to start for you, Ophiuchus, I want to start at the uh, the new moon that happened on August 27th. I feel like um, that happened for you, first of all, that happened in your ninth house. It was in the constellation of Leo. Leo is in your ninth house here. Um, and the ninth house is all about expanded, uh, expanded ways of thinking, an expanded mindset, higher learning, um, traveling, stepping out of your comfort zone, traveling to new and distant and far and exciting places going around and having adventures, yes? For you, the new moon happened in uh, the ninth house for you. And I really do feel like that influenced you to start learning something new. Because, And, and also, I feel like with this Mars energy for you, I'm going to show you a chart, the chart in a second. But for the Mars energy for you, I believe Mars is transiting through uh, Taurus in your sixth house, which is your house of health and wellness and also routines. Also, even where you're starting to get to be in service for others. But for you, Ophiuchus, um, this feels like there is there's something going on here about um, your health and wellness and how you can revolutionize that and change that for yourself. I feel like the new moon on August 27th really gave you a clean slate um, in order to focus on this health and well-being energy, all right? also could have inspired you to start learning something new, maybe seeking a higher uh, course in higher learning or just starting a brand new, uh, starting something new to uh, brand new to expand your horizons. Now, by the time we reach the full moon, which will be around September 9th, late September 9th into uh, September 10th, um, I feel like you're really going to be taking further steps to expand on this and or even communicate about this. Um, during this full moon, a big thing for the collective is since this full moon is going to be in uh, Aquarius, I feel like whatever was started for you or whatever you, wh whatever clean slate you had and how that resonates for you, by the time we reach the full moon, the moon being in Aquarius, I feel like this is a really good time to, ex to uh, start to reach out to people. Um, I feel like maybe the inclination to learn this new thing happened for you during the new moon. And then by the time we reach the full moon, you're ready to start branching out and finding people that you can study with, mentors, um, or just maybe if it's say this is like a, a college course, you want to go go to a college course or get some higher training or, or more expanded training. I feel like by the time the moon reaches Aquarius for that full moon is going to be a really great time for you to take action towards those dreams, but also branch out. And and reach out to certain people or find individuals that can help you with this yeah i'm seeing a possible new career trajectory for you or at least you working on further training or expanding your current one um, and that also has to do with the energies of the uh of your 10th house 
which is where things are going to be moving into. We'll talk about that in a second. You do have the Nine of Swords here in reverse. That's the first card out that's come for you here. I feel like fear has flown out the window, or at least I feel like you're really going to have an opportunity to really overcome those fears. Some of these fears actually could be the reason why you decided to do something new, especially if this has to do with your health and wellness or health and well-being. Um, I feel like either something happened in that new moon on August 27th that got you to finally say to yourself, I'm not going to be afraid of this any longer. Or if I am afraid of this now, well, I obviously have to have obviously have to do something about it. I feel like you're really overcoming that fear and saying, no, I'm not going to let this stop me anymore. or I'm not going to allow this to be a problem any longer. I'm going to do something about this. And I really, um, I want to say I'm proud of you there, Ophiuchus. That's really an excellent idea. It's all meant to help you be a better version of yourself, yeah? Let's get into the chart and talk a little bit more specifically about the energies here. So here you have the chart for you, for at least basically for an Ophiuchus rising. Now, even if you're not an Ophiuchus rising, this energy still could resonate for you. But when it comes to the placement of the planets specifically, it's it's not going to be the same for you if you're not an Ophiuchus rising. But still, if you resonate with the Ophiuchus energy, then this I still is feel gonna have is still going I feel, excuse me, is still going to have an influence on you. So, like I said here, you have Mars right here in your sixth house moving through the constellation of Taurus. This is really giving us a level of tenacity, okay? Or at least a strong sense of follow through to get things done, to change the atmosphere in your life. For you, this is in the sixth house of your health and wellness and also routines, okay? Now, for you specifically, Ophiuchus, you also have Uranus here in your uh, sixth house, kind of a... a, a um, in the sign of uh, Aries, which is the sign, the sign of the self, right? And individuality and your individual drive and your sense of direction and your sense of purpose and your sense of self. Uh, Uranus has been really reshaping our sense of selves here. And for you, with Mars being in Taurus in your sixth house, this is giving you the opportunity to really drive forward and make those changes that you need to make, okay? Now, the other thing that I want to talk about for the month here is the Mercury retrograde. For you, Mercury is in your 10th house right now and is going to remain in your 10th house throughout the retrograde. The retrograde is happening it starts on September 9th and goes until October 1st. In the retrograde, Mars is not going to be leaving the constellation of, Merc of, of Venus and back into Leo. It's staying in Venus. I'm sorry, Virgo. Uh, Mercury is not going to be leaving Virgo. Mercury is going to stay in Virgo. Again, health and well-being, Virgo is also the ruler of your sixth house. So during this Mercury retrograde period, um, it's going to give us a really a great opportunity to rework or rewrite the programming of our um of our routines or anything that we really want to do better or uh, learn more about. I'm really getting that for you. There's something about wanting to learn more, okay? And so um, this is really influencing you. What I'm hearing is influencing you to clean up your act or clean up the situation for yourself, okay? Learn more or start that process of learning more. Start that process of rewriting that programming in terms of your routines. We are moving forward here. We're progressing the chart. Next thing, we have is right when Mercury starts his retrograde, which is on September 9th. That is also the time of the full moon. Now for you, Ophiuchus, the full moon is in the third house in Aquarius. All right. Um, the third house is all about communication. Again, this is another reason, especially since it's in Aquarius. This is another reason as to why I feel like the new moon is ex going to be an excellent time for you to really start to branch out, for you to really start to find those individuals that align with this newness or align with whatever it is you're wanting to learn or however it is you're wanting to expand your horizons. Horizons. Finding that teacher, finding that guru, if you will, researching uh, modes or methods of you moving forward in how whatever new endeavors you're wanting to move forward with okay continuing forward we have the really the next thing that i want to talk about for us would be the new moon now by the time the sun reaches that new or i'm sorry the sun and the moon reach that conjunction for the new moon the sun will have crossed into your 10th house but actually let me go back a little bit here so the new moon in august 
August 27th, right here. The new moon, like I said, was in the ninth house in Leo. This is expanding your ability or your desire to want to learn more or setting you on that path to wanting to learn more or something or, or learn something new, try a new process. Then the sun progresses by the, right after the full moon, right when the full moon is just about over, the sun has progressed into your 10th house. This, I feel like, is the next drive for you to start really getting that plan into action. Your 10th house is all about how you are seen by the collective, but it's also about your career and also, I like to say, your long-term goals. By the, by the time the sun reaches the 10th house here for you, um, it does feel like your emphasis or the influence for you is going to be on seeing this through, moving forward and getting the job done, embarking on that long-term goal or that long-term um yeah, that long-term goal or whatever to get you uh, to, to, to shape up your life or to really change whatever it is you're wanting to change in your life over this time, okay? Yeah, we really don't have many cards coming out here. Really, the only card that you have right now is the Nine of Swords. And I really feel like the big drive for you, Ophiuchus, over this time is having gotten over that fear, okay? Now, the sun will be progressing into Virgo uh, around the 16th of September. That's when the sun gets into Virgo, giving you even more drive and meeting up with that uh, with Mercury eventually with Mercury retrograde, keeping up with that drive to really move forward. Now, the new moon for September is going to be in, in the constellation of Virgo on the 25th of September. With that, there is a stellium between the sun, moon, Mercury, and Venus. And with this, I really feel like Venus is giving us a shot of fertilizer, okay, to really get this job done. On top of that, there is a trine with uh, Pluto. I feel like the trine with Pluto is really Really helping to accentuate the process is putting power behind your long-term goals or really what it is you want to see developed or what the fruits of your labor or what the return on your investment is. I feel like this new moon in September, in late September in the uh, constellation of Virgo is really going to put you on the right track is really going to make you focused on achieving your long-term goals and or re receiving the fruits of your labor that you desire. There's a very, yeah, see, ace of swords. By the time you, by the time you reach the new moon this month in September, Ophiuchus, I feel like you're going to have a clear understanding of how it is you need to continue moving forward or what's actually going to bring you the fruits of that labor or the return on your investment. I'm also feeling a great deal of enthusiasm for you to really continue moving forward towards this by the time you reach the full the, the new moon excuse me but actually the full moon could be um part of this as well see the next card you have is the ace of pentacles but by the time you reach the new moon here uh, Ophiuchus I really feel like you're going to have some sort of idea or some sort of proof of what it is that you're going to be receiving I re feel like you're going to receive some sort of return on that investment that's going to uh, it, it may not be huge but I feel like it's big enough Enough for you to really and be enthusiastic and just really going to encourage you to keep going at that point. Um, it's going to give you the understanding that yes, you are in fact on the right track. And if you continue moving forward in this way, it's really going to work out in a beautiful way for you. You're really going to receive some beautiful, beautiful things should you continue on the path that you have been on by the time you reach that new moon energy. Okay. Anything else? Let's see. Anything else for Ophiuchus? Don't take that one. All right. Anything else for Ophiuchus? Five of Wands is next. Creative Chaos. Okay. But with that, yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I want to say stay encouraged. Let me switch the view here for you because we're kind of done with the chart at this point. Okay. So, um creative chaos. There might be a lot of confusion, but understand that the confusion or the chaos that you're experiencing is really helping you to change. Um, if things get, this is weird, Ophiuchus, but if things end up getting messy for you at some point, I really want to say, allow that to be encouragement to let you know that actually you are going in the right track. Um, I, this is weird, but it feels like that creative chaos that may be coming through for you, Ophiuchus, is a sign or is indicative of the fact that you are creating the necessary change and things could really be moving forward quite well. Continue um, with your... Uh, your focus, 
continue with um this is the queen of pentacles here continue with your commitment continue to stay in a loving and a nurturing energy especially if that creative chaos is really confusing to you it's not that that's not the time to actually give up and it's not really telling you to give up it's weird this ophiuchus this, <laughs> i'm not gonna be i'm not i'm gonna be very honest with you this feels kind of weird to say but the creative chaos of the moment or the the k the, just the chaos of the moment is actually a sign that you're doing the right thing that you're creating the necessary change for you there's uh, there's the evidence empress that came out with this as well okay um love and nurturance but see a lot of things may need to change or things may need to change in some pretty big ways and the bigger the things that are changing or the bigger the shift that you're making Ophiuchus the greater the potential the greater the outcome okay but with that is going to come a great deal of heavy chaos you know what I mean especially like say if you're changing your health and wellness regimen or you're really working on changing those routines there all right um it's going to create a, it's going to create a bit of chaos but again the message there Ophiuchus is that the chaos is meant to uh, uh, is a sign that you're doing the right thing or at least you are effectively making a change here okay anything else for Ophiuchus spirit says there's one more card okay one more card for Ophiuchus please for the month of September of 2022 one more card please spirit judgment Boop. okay it's time it's time to move forward um the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck uh this could also be a relationship there could be let's see actually since we did have the empress which is indicative of uh venus yeah venus is in uh is making that conjunction all of this yeah all of this is um in your 10th house by the end of the month um, this big, this big uh, uh, stellium here, the sun, the moon, Mercury, and Venus. Um, fertilizer, fertilizer, okay? I, I really feel like this is an excellent time for you to really keep going. This is um, some real, some, I'm hearing some really great signs could be around for you at that time. Allow yourself to pull on that nurturance and that kind of fertilizing energy of Venus um, you are going to be able to make that judgment call with judgment here, Ophiuchus. I feel like there is going to be something that's going to happen that's going to show you that you have, in fact, made the right call and that you are, in fact, moving forward in a really beautiful and beneficial way. So I really want to encourage you, whatever changed for you or whatever new insight you have or new ways that you want to love and nurture yourself or new ways that you want to express yourself or new things that you want to learn, new career paths that you want to pursue and follow, that all that came into the forefront of your focus on the 27th of August, which was that new moon in Leo. I really want to encourage you to follow that path, okay? It was a big wake-up call for you um ultimately and it really i do feel like it's going to ultimately lead you down the right direction towards something really beautiful okay i want to pull one more card for judgment anything else for judgment you want to clarify for judgment no that really is it oh okay what came out here is the five of pentacles yeah all right taking care of yourself better care of yourself believing in yourself more or at least putting yourself in a position that pulls you out of this state of feeling lost or helpless because you're not you are guided you are not alone you have what it takes you are capable of this you are abundant okay this was a time for you to say enough is enough i'm changing this situation for myself i really want to encourage you to follow down keep following that path because this is a really beautiful thing for you. It could really lead to a lot of beautiful opportunities in your near future. All right, Ophiuchus, I am going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to set up a session for you also or just to send you your chart if you're interested in seeing it. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, Ophiuchus. I'm sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Bye.